Hello, Cobb the Historian here. In this installation of A Basic Overview of, we're going to go to the Grasslands, a place of many cultures and events. Of course, I'm talking about the... What are the Steplans? The Steplans are a flatlands in the Asian continent that are a part of Russia, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, and many more. In the past, they were home to a unique people, the Steppe Nomads. There were many different groups of Steppe Nomads, including the Mongols, Turks, Khazaris, Huns, and Tartars. These groups are very diverse, coming from different backgrounds and follow different religions. But one thing unites these people, the horse. The horse was domesticated in 3500 BC. This began the era of the steppe nomads. The chariot and horse archery was able to carry them to great successes as the steppe people were some of the best warriors in the world. If we're going to talk about the nomads, let's talk about the first and most successful group of nomads. White people. Also known as the Indo-Aryans. Okay, oh, wait, 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 wait. So... There's a certain group of German uh, people who have kind of taken the word Aryan and used it for malicious means. But I do not associate with that group in any way. The Aryans were an actual group of people who were the ancestors of modern Europeans, Middle Easterners, and some Indian people. Alright, let's continue. The Indo-Aryans, using their superior chariot technology, were able to conquer and settle vast lands. In the Middle East and Iran, they mostly assimilated and settled within the local peoples. In India, they became a ruling class in what became known as the caste system, which I'll talk about in another video. In Europe, they almost completely destroyed the native peoples, banishing them to hell, or what most people call, call Sardinia. So, what do the steppe nomads do? The nomads, well, they are nomadic, so they usually wander from place to place, and they usually use tents, or yurts, in Mongolia for a quick and easy home. The main diet of the nomads was meat and milk, which could contribute to their taller and stronger nature than the farmers they harassed. Speaking of harassing farmers, they really liked to raid. The number of incursions in the quote-unquote uncivilized nomads made into the quote-unquote civilized world was incredible. China's history is basically them getting conquered by nomads and how they reacted to it. Europe was less prone to attacks due to their amazing skills in combat but not having much, and also not having much to steal. The Indians were conquered and looting many times by nomads. The most famous example is the Mughals, who conquered almost the entirety of India in the 1700s. Most of the time, the nomads either flew, flee due to being outnumbered after a while, but sometimes they stayed. This is shown in Europe and Anatolia, where the number of nomads was so great that they outpopulated the natives, making the region theirs. I have mainly been speaking in general terms. Now I'm going to talk about a few specific groups of steppe nomads. I've already talked about the Mughals and the Indo-Aryans. The Khazaris, or a nomadic group living in southern Russia, they existed from around 650 to 1000. They were Turkic and had close ties to the Byzantine Empire. They were very wealthy and were known to have several trade routes throughout the world. With their ally, the Byzantines, they crippled the Sassanid Empire around the 700s, which could have caused their conquest by the Arabs. Oops. <laughs> but one of the most fascinating parts of Khazaria was their own religion, Judaism. The fact that a major power in the 700s was Jewish was a massive feat for the very small religion. Another group I could talk about is the most famous, the Mongols. There's a lot to say about the Mongols. Firstly, they created the second biggest empire in the world. They also kind of killed 11% 11 11 of the world's population, but whatever. Their successor states shaped the world a lot, with the Golden Horde subjugating Russia and the Yuan Dynasty subjugating China, causing the rise of the Ming. In fact, one of Genghis Khan's relatives, Timurid or Tamerlane, created the Timurid Empire, smashing the Middle East and causing groups like the Assyrians to almost vanish. 
but there's one topic I've been kind of avoiding. The fact that the step mode nomads weren't the most peaceful bunch. Almost all of these empires committed mass genocide in some way. The effects of these genocides still linger today. Now, how did these nomads fall? Because today, there are no great nomad empires. Two things could explain the phenomenon. Technology and the Russians. Technology allowed, had allowed the musket or the gun. The gun did not require any skill so any peasant could use it, while the nomads spent years training their soldiers. The gun was able to destroy nomad armies. The, Russians pe the Russian people had been harassed by the nomads too much. When their population became large enough and they'd received firearms, the Russians started their relentless push to the east. They slaughtered nomad, nomad groups who were in their way. Not only that, but they resettled these lands with ethnic Russians or Slavs. Ukraine, one of the original homes of the Slavs, was retaken from Crimea, who had been selling Slavs as slaves for years. In the end, the nomads were reduced to the Stan countries and Mongolia. Their reign of terror over Eurasia had ended.